From Olive Packer and delivery truck driver, now president of the company, Bob Unanue has come a long way from his humble roots at what's become the nation's largest Hispanic-owned foods company. The Goya president joins me to talk about how he's keeping his business all in the family. We're standing here in your brand new New Jersey headquarters in the Northeast region, um, and you're no stranger to Goya. You started here when you were 10 years old, went on to work, uh, you know, get your degree in accounting, went on to run your own business, and then you came back here. So. What is it about Goya that kept you coming back? Was it the family aspect or, or what brought you back? Well, I did start in Brooklyn in 1964. Uh, we came to New Jersey in 1974. So, uh, you know, I went to school and, and like you say, uh, I worked for the company for a while. I came back. Um, I was actually called back uh, by one of my uncles to uh, go to Florida and to uh, deal with an issue we had down there and, and rejoin the company so so uh, I my father had passed away and uh, you know I gladly came back to the company yeah. as you do this expansion to serve more markets more people in this country um, there's also a, a balancing act I'm sure that you have to reach trying to stay true to your roots but then also help the company grow so what's the fine line that you, that you walk trying to balance the two Probably one of the greatest challenges is balancing family and, and work. You know, I like to place priorities with God, family, and then the Goya family, uh, as I call it. Balancing all that, working hard, you know, as family members, we're kind of called to work harder than everyone else. We say we work half a day, so we work at least 12 hours a day. We have to set the example for everyone else. Corporate veterans always kind of talk about how you should never mix family and business together. It's always kind of, it creates this ripe atmosphere for conflict. And Goya itself is no stranger to its own kind of scuffles. How have those conflicts helped shape you as a leader? People have a great pride for working for the company. But as we've, over 80 years almost, we've evolved uh, in technology and, and you have to stay one step ahead of the competition, you got to be up to date with uh, technology. You know, business becomes more and more complex. My grandfather used to say, if it were easy, everyone would do it. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy. Uh, you have to remain authentic. You have to stay up to date. Uh, and you've got to surround yourself with good people who know more than you. Despite all the growth, you haven't ventured into the public markets yet. Is that something that you've talked about doing, or is keeping it in the family kind of your ultimate goal? We've had offers, but we enjoy what we do. Uh, there's a tremendous pride in working for the company. Everyone that is part of this company bleeds what we call Goya Blue. It's our, our colors. And uh, there's an incredible pride, not only in our employees, but you know, over 79 years, by making co a connection with our consumers. As immigrants, there's three things that you don't lose. You don't lose music, language, or food. So by providing food, by reaching, you know, the, the dinner table uh, of families around the United States, around the world, we make an intimate connection with the family. You're actively involved in the American Cancer Society's CEOs Against Cancer. So what is it that has kind of made cancer research and the fight to cure cancer kind of right there in the front of your mind? The Hispanic community is more obese and, and more diabetic than the general community. So the importance of, of health has become more and more relevant uh, in a community that really lagged behind the general population in, in awareness of health. So we feel it's our responsibility to promote health uh, and join organizations like that. Okay, so I always ask people in your position um, what their favorite what their favorite product is, but I always get the same answer that they can't pick one, it's like picking from their favorite kids. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to ask you what your favorite dish is to make with one of your products. It happens to be our most popular category, if you will, which is beans, uh, you know, and as Latinos, one of the, a gentleman who worked with us, he's 90 years old now, he still works in the Dominican Republic. He says, Latinos, we're united by language, we're separated by the bean. Everybody likes their own bean. <laughs>